All right, well, it's just before 10 p.m. and I was just getting ready for bed. I'm going to walk to the restroom to brush my teeth and almost stepped on this little creature. And it certainly startled me and I'm feeling pretty happy that I didn't step on him. So I'm going to open this container up and show you why he's not something to be reckoned with at 10 p.m. This is a Solifugid, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, from the order Solifugae, which is related to spiders and scorpions. And it's more commonly referred to here in California as a camel spider or a sun spider or a wind spider, even though it's not actually a spider. And these guys are kind of scary because they are, in this case, an inch and a half long and seemingly very aggressive. So uh, when I was walking near him, he would uh, kind of lunge from his back legs up in the air and he has these large front appendages and pronounced pincers and it doesn't take much to provoke him to rear up and kind of uh, look scary, although they're not actually poisonous. After doing a little bit of research, I found he's pretty harmless to people. Um, in fact, it's a, a beneficial creature to have around because they do uh, feast on termites and other pests in the yard. So I'm actually going to let him go here in a few minutes, but I wanted to at least take a quick video to show uh, how aggressive he is and how menacing he looks when you come across him at uh, 10 p.m. on your way to the bathroom, but in fact he's... Uh, harmless, although I would imagine by the looks of those pincers, he would leave a little bit of a sting, just not a poisonous one. The interesting thing about this little guy is if you can see on the top of his head what I believe are his eyes, so he actually responds to stimulus above his head rather than in front of it. So uh, I'm going to use a little stick and just go right over the top of his head. See, I'm not even coming anywhere near his pincers or his mouth and just waving the stick over here is enough to cause him uh, to rear up and kind of go into attack mode. So if I go down here in front of his pincers, uh, let's see if I can get the stick in the frame, he really can't even see that. He's not responding to it all when it's down here unless I tap the plastic. But when I put the stick over his head and just kind of wave it over, let's see if he'll do it now. There we go. Yep. And then he tries to rise up to attack the stick. And uh, those front appendages, I don't think they're legs. Um, they are certainly uh, kind of scary looking. I'm just going to touch it a little bit so you can see how he lunges up. And um, yeah, very aggressive. And in the hallway, when I almost stepped on him, he was jumping up at uh, my feet and uh, kind of... Uh, doing somersaults. He was very, very aggressive. I think now that he's uh, been confined to the container for a few minutes, he's kind of, um, you know, kind of getting subdued a little bit. Although I'm being very gentle with him, I'm not going to poke him at all or hurt him at all. Um, he, he's more interested in, in hurting this stick at this point. And I'm going to let him back outside in a few minutes. But uh, I thought he's an interesting creature, one I've never seen before, one I don't care to encounter again in the house, although I'm perfectly fine with him being out in the yard taking care of those termites that, uh, of course, we have out here. Okay, this is the Solifugid, or sun spider, and I am going to bed, hopefully without any nightmares of this guy.